All right, welcome to Industry Cooking. My name is Scott McKenzie, and uh, last week I had the opportunity to uh, head to California, uh, hang out with an incredible organization called Neil, and a part of that hangout, I was able to get, or they provided this uh, bag of spices, right? It's called uh, Ground Saudi Spice Mix. Now, if you had smell vision you look at that, it's just chock full of incredible things. And then it is, uh, it has uh, cardamom, red pepper, cloves, tamarack, it's all in here. And it smells divine. So what I wanted to do, right, is figure out what I can cook with this because clearly this is a special dish. So I go out to the World Wide Web and then I just say, hey, Saudi Arabian type of uh, dishes that I can cook with uh, special spices like this. Come up with Al Kabsa. That's A L K A B S A. And I'm looking at the international cuisine.com. Nothing fancy there. That's just sort of where I'm at right now. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. I like food. I like what food does. And it brings that, uh, I don't know, food just brings out that international, that culture, everything about it. It's a wonderful thing. And of course, I, I'm always into cooking. So I go down the road. So. It's got a lot of little steps, so for now, come on over here. Take a look at what I do have, yeah, right here. So what I did is I've got some uh, onions, some garlic, about one onion, six cloves, and I just got some uh, four uh, chicken thighs, just because they're skinless. You brown it, you put it in butter, you brown it, and you, you saute it down. Then you bring in some tomato puree. I didn't want to bore you with that, I just didn't. Now we're going to start to layer in the spices and what we need to do. So right off the bat, this is just diced tomatoes, nothing fancy. So I'm going to pull that in. I'm going to pour it all in. This is, again, this is the Dagon uh, recipe. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. All I know, it's got a lot of great parts. And then from there, I'm going to take some carrots. Now, they say shaved carrots. I'm lazy. I just bought this stuff. So I'm going to put in, uh, I think it's equivalent to maybe three carrots. I'm just sort of pulling it out of my tuchus on how many is three carrots. Now, this is where the tricky part came with the spice because clearly it's a spice dish. And uh, this recipe had it all broken down on what needs to be a part of the spice conglomeration. All I did is I said, okay, let me have three and a half teaspoons, looking at the math here, three and a half teaspoons of this particular uh, spice. I don't know if it's enough or too much or right amount. I don't know. But right now we're going to do it. So I'm going to just, it says, put it right on inside. Oh, I put it all on inside. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to sit there and, and I'm going to apply a little salt and pepper. I think that's the last thing that we've got to do. So I put the spices in, okay, a little salt, a little pepper, but man, I'm telling you, if you could smell these spices, what do you think? That's awesome. Yeah, it Almost. smells incredible. I don't know, it's, a, it's, a, it's exciting it's stuff. Good. So we're going to just sit there, let me see, we do that, and then we're going to cook it for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to add our rice and uh, chicken stock. And then we're going to go from there. So we'll be right back. Let's get it going. All right. So what we did is we put in the, uh, the chicken stock. We cooked it for about 30 minutes. And now we're getting ready to enter or put in the basmati rice. Here's a little, here's a little trick about basmati. Basmati, if you don't know what it is, it's a nice slender rice. A uh, variety of long slender grain, aromatic rice. I don't know what that means, but it sound, smells good. Uh, grown in India, Nepal, and Pakistan. As of 2019, cool. India accounted for 65% of the international trade. And then uh, Pakistan, the remaining 35. Put that in your book. Okay, so it says, put the basmati rice. If you look at it, it's just sort of very thin and small. Pretty interesting. By the way, it smells, I mean, it smells fantastic. It's hard to describe the scent, but now I'm supposed to just sort of put it in there ever so carefully. 
stir it around. Make sure that the liquid is all into it. You can see the chicken, pieces and parts, all seasoned up. Tomatoes, seasoning. Boy, that Saudi people must be happy if they have food like this. This smells just absolutely spectacular. And then I'm supposed to, based off of the old menu or the recipe here, put it back, recover, simmer 35 to 40 minutes, and then I'm going to add raisins at the about 10 minutes into it. And then I'm going to garnish it with, well, they say slivered almonds. We only have, what, sliced almonds here. We're well, going to toast them up. I'm going to plate it, and then we're going to rate it. How about that? All right, I'll be back. All right. The rice is cooked. And I want to make sure that you understand, I've never cooked this. I don't even know what it's, it's supposed to taste like. But i got to tell you, on a scale of 1 to 10, from a scent, a smell point of view, definitely a 10 hard hat easily. It smells spectacular. Incredible. Now, from the look, come on over here. From the look, so this is a, pull it off. Just looking at it, again, I mean, that looks fantastic. I don't know if I've done it right. I put some raisins in there. I'm supposed to. I like raisins. I like the smell. I like what's going on here. Uh, the basmati cooked up perfectly. The, the recipe apparently worked just fine. Again, if you, if you know how to cook this dish, please let us know. But right now, we're going to sort of plate it up. And as you can see, I'm going to put it all in the plate. You can see the raisins and all of the good stuff. There's some chicken right there. I think I could probably put more chicken in there, but that's what they had at the uh, the, uh, the store. So I'm just going to continue to sort of dole that out. Plenty of rice. It looks absolutely and smells absolutely spectacular. So I'm going to put that on top. There's some more. And uh, if you if, if I didn't get it right, tell me. If I did get it right, tell me. But I gotta tell you, man, this is happy food, big time, big time. A lot of rice, a lot of, so here we go. So smell, 10, 10 hard ones. Look, definitely 10. And then uh, I, there's a, there's, you know, Ian, there's this thing that's a, it's a, it's a salsa. And uh, I think it'd go well with this too. And I can't remember what the name of that salsa is. Shatara? How did you say that? How would you say that? Shata. Shata. Yeah. So, yeah. Shata would be a, probably a good compliment to this. So, what do you think? That's really good. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Is it? That's a did good we flavor. nail it? Yeah, it's really good. I love it. Wow, wow. It's hot. Oh, uh -huh. A lot going on. Incredible flavor. See, overall, we got the great, great smell, great color, great look. I think it went well. Decent recipe. I'm looking at, let me try some of this chicken here real quick. The chicken's tender. It's been boiling in there for a little while. Let's see how it works with some rice. I think I'd like to have some hot sauce with it. Spice it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's about a seven, seven two five flavor wise. Seven. I think I could probably add more seasoning, so I did three and a half. Probably could put more in there, and I don't think I put enough salt. But nonetheless, that's a doggone home run. What do you think? Really good. I love it. All right, that is. What do we call this again? Uh, Kapsa. Oh, Kapsa. Oh, cup so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Has a lot going on. I think I could put more in this in there because I don't know. I tried to look at the, the, the website, see if they had some recipes there. They don't. That's a recommendation, by the way. If you're selling this spice, get some recipes out there that support this spice and this mix. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not your market, but uh, that would be ideal. And I'll tell you right now. Excellent. It smells wonderful. All right. El, Cab El, Cabsa. El Cabsa. Enjoy.